सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ 3D टेक्स्ट एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग एलिमेंट 3D प्लगइन I see. I teach you how I create this type of beautiful metal text effect with beautiful lighting, guys. It's really simple and easy tutorial, guys. So now stop and I create new composition, new project. This one and guys presets use full HD frame. So guys, duration 50 second is good for me. So press OK. And next one, guys. I take text tool and type your letter like M. and guys take any font that's my stylish font so guys i increase this font size like 500 is good and alignment so click on here made one alignment right okay so height and next one guys i create new solid layer that's my e3d so press okay and guys select your e3d layer and i apply element 3d plugin this one yes and guys i create this one custom layer and apply text to this one text like m letter and guys screen setup check yes right and guys click on extrude that's my text and now guys that's my text and path resolution i use extreme for more smoothness and next one guys go to on up See guys, that's my bevel copy. This one, and I take two. Yes. See guys, that's my bevel copies, right? Okay. So guys, now I apply material. So go to on physical, and that's my chrome material. Apply on top one. This one, and that's my color material. Apply on bevel two. Yeah. Right. And now guys, I change this size and placing. So guys, this one Z offset. Like minus one, yeah. And next one, guys. Edge this one like minus one. Enter, yeah. See, guys, that's my text, right? It's really simple. Okay, so guys, remove unused material, and now, guys, I apply some texture. See, guys, that's my normal map texture, and that's my glossiness. Guys, you can download this texture from my website. So select your normal map and apply a normal bump like this yeah see guys that's my texture and next one guys click and uv repeat this one i like 5 and 5 enter press okay so guys apply glossiness and apply on here yes and uv repeat guys right? same 5 and 5 enter and press okay see guys that's my brush metal texture so guys i increase this roughness so like 50 yes see guys glossiness i take 50% for more metal effect yeah okay so guys lighting i use aqua like this it's really good and next one guys i take this time duplicate so press control d and go to on here yeah and guys select this chrome material and increase this extrude like 3 is good for me and guys attach on here like this see guys that's my text it's really good okay so guys select first one and one more time duplicate so guys go to on here yeah see guys that's my 
really cool 3d text and lastly guys click on here one more time extrude that's for my front part and guys select your bevel and bevel outline this one enable check so guys offset actually this one extrude like 0 0.5 is good and expand as 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 enter yes so attach on here yeah and guys select your extrude bevel yeah i take extreme yes okay so guys now i apply this time same chrome material on front one like this See guys, that's my beautiful silver texture and 3D text. Okay, so guys, my text is finished. And next one, guys, I take background. So use plane. So double sided plane check. So orientation, guys, change like minus 90. And guys, size increase like 15 and 15. Enter. So guys, go to on here. Yes. Right, size increase like 20, 20 is good. Okay, so see guys, that's my background. And now guys, I apply same as the last one tutorial. Apply this one, black my outline material. Click on here on background and apply. I see that's my background material. And I apply PG. See guys, that's my background material and apply normal map texture select and drag and drop guys simple normal bump check yes and guys now next one this time glossy yes yes and guys select this plane uv like 30 and 30 yes see guys that's my texture and guys now right click on this plane background and reflection mode to change mirror surface this one yeah simple okay see guys that's my beautiful background and beautiful 3d text it's really good and next one guys i apply hdri image so go to on presets environment and see guys that's my environment textures so i like this one this one yeah but guys it's not so looking good so guys i change this opacity and brightness so guys little bit change this brightness like minus 15 is good minus 15 and guys saturation change like minus 50 yes so press ok yeah much better see guys that's my really cool lighting right see guys that's my really cool beautiful shiny reflection okay so guys my e3d text effect is finished now guys press ok and guys go to on here that's my render setting here and guys physical environment guys i create lighting increase lighting like 1.2 and gamma 0 0.9 enter yes and now guys i take camera camera check guys closer so press c letter and closer guys rotate your camera angle like this and fit 200 percent check yes guys closer more and guys rotate like this yeah see guys that's my camera angle and next one guys again select this e3d layer Guys, physical environment exposure 1.2 and gamma 0 0.9. So, guys, lighting and you same aqua light. Yeah, that's my beautiful reflection. And guys, go to on here shadow, shadow check and MB occlusion. Guys, MB occlusion check and quality. I use high and intensity. Guys, I like five, five enter. Yes, right. See, guys, that's my. 3d text and next one guys i take some color correction so use adjustment layer so guys i use this time firstly glow i select your glow and apply on adjustment layer so guys glow setting here threshold i like 85 
and radius like 200 is good yes and next one guys go to an intensity like 1.2 is good for me yeah right okay so next one guys i apply this time point light so beautiful lighting so use this time guys i change this camera angle so use front one yeah and guys i take light here i see that's my light and that's my point light so press ok yeah you guys that's my lighting so guys go to on top view panel so closer like this and guys go to little bit on here right side yes okay so guys select your light and this time duplicate so press ctrl d guys i use two light that's for my left side so guys select your point light two so i change color so this time guys color i like red color and intensity like 100 is good so press ok and guys active camera check yes see guys that's my beautiful lighting okay so next one guys my lighting is really beautiful and next one guys i create this time this one glow light effect so guys select this e3d and press duplicate ctrl d so guys rename like e3d glow yes and guys apply same glow on e3d yeah and guys i change this threshold like 100 and radius 100 yeah and guys intensity like 1.25 is good 1.5 and guys go to on here output guys show to change emulation yes and guys this time e3d glow to change lighting yes and guys select this glow press ctrl d duplicate light yes see guys that's some beautiful lighting right it's really good okay so next one guys this time i create some curve effect color correction so guys use curve tool curve this one and apply on adjustment layer like this and increase lighting and guys little bit change yes okay see guys that's my final work it's really beautiful and now guys i create camera movement animation so select this camera and press p p for position check and guys lastly go to like 15 second and guys use any camera angle guys resolution change so camera angle change and Go to back yes okay see guys that's my camera movement animation and guys create full yes and go to back and play okay see guys that's my final work it's really beautiful and guys also you can apply depth of field effect is depend on your work so camera option and see guys that's my depth of field effect okay so now guys take little bit time for render preview so guys that's it my final effect is finished so if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download this project file and material texture from my website is free thank you